Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with eResearch's Chris Thompson. How are you today, Chris? Great, Tracy. How about you? Well, I see that you have an update on Zortex Therapeutics. We've got a $26 buy recommendation. Yes? Yes, that is correct. Well, I only say that because if you look at the stock price now, I mean, this is eight times your money. Yeah, so it's one of these biotech pharma companies, which is moving into stage three. Uh, so revenue is a couple of years down the road. Uh, you know, they're looking at potentially some revenue maybe in 2023, um, 2022. So that's why it's a little bit further, uh, you know, a price target. It, it, there's a little risk involved as a stage three company. Well, I have to tell you, one of the many things that I love about e-research reports, can't say enough nice things about them, is I love your investment highlights and the way that you break them down. So do you mind if we just go through some of the high points? Because obviously, Investor Intel members, you should read this information. If you have any questions, just send Chris an email. Um, no. You've got the very simply highlights. You want to give no. us one of the, the best? Yeah, so the... The thing about Azortex is it's taking an existing drug that was used to treat gout and repurposing it for other diseases. So that takes a little bit of the risk out of the situation. The drug is oxypurinol. And what they were targeting this drug was elevated uric acid and the effects on kidneys. And kidney disease is a huge problem. And so what they're going after is, is reusing this drug with a new formulation. And that's their intellectual property, but targeting you know, it, high uric acids and the effect on kidneys. Well, that must be an absolutely huge market gout with all of us overweight. <laughs> our numbers are shocking. I mean, and our, our aging population, this must be a substantial market to go after. Yeah, so they're going after the acute kidney in, in, uh, injury market uh, using this existing drug. And the interesting thing was, is that when COVID happened, uh, they noticed a correlation between COVID and kidney injury. And so now they've done a new formulation to go after the treatment of COVID as well. Um, sorry, the, the, the kidney impacts because of the COVID disease. So um, as you say, this market um, was large to begin with, and now it's actually got an added um, effect with the COVID um, illness and how they can help those people recover um, who have had COVID. And of course, the balance sheet is strengthened. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so uh, it was a, the um, Zortex is a Canadian company. It was listed uh, in, in Canada and uh, over the market, but recently they did an uplisting to NASDAQ um, and raised about $21 million in total. Uh, and they're going to use those funds as they move towards the stage three trials for the drugs, um, which you know is a fully sort of funded balance sheet for them, and can carry them right to uh, through to um, you know this drug going to commercial production. And, and in this case, you know Zortex will not be uh, the manufacturer, but they will contract. You know they look or they are looking right now to contract with a third party who will actually produce the drugs once they get it approved. Well, one of the many things that I've noticed on this is they're both CSE and NASDAQ. Most companies are TSX, TSX and CS, uh, TSX and NASDAQ. Yeah. Can so I, yeah, any, yeah, they any just, reason why they, are they planning on maintaining that or have they commented on that? Yeah, actually they just switched over. So, um, and on the next report that would come out, we'll have an updated ticker, but the Canadian ticker has now gone over to the TSX Venture Exchange uh, the ticker symbol is, uh, you know, XRTX uh, on the TSXV now, um, and, and they will have the two listings, both uh, the venture listing in, in Canada, as well as the NASDAQ listing in the U.S. Also, I noticed in your financial and analysis and valua valuation highlights, you have an upper caps, significantly undervaluated and bolded, we reiterate our buy rating. Any comments on that? Yeah, just when you're looking at, um, you know, comparable companies in the U.S., they are at a much higher valuation right now, you know, from a market cap standpoint for this stage uh, of company. Uh, as I mentioned before, you know, they have two drugs at stage three, 
Um, and so when you're looking at the market cap, you know, your sub, you know, $50 million, of course, depending on what the, it's trading at today. But, you know, you're looking at comparable companies in the U.S., and they are north of, uh, you know, $100 million. And that's partially why they did the U.S. listing uh, was to get some more institutional investors from the U.S. Um, because they are undervalued and, and or in, in comparison uh, to their competitors. Well, as always, we at Investor Intel follow, follow your reports, Chris. Thank you so much for providing us with a little bit more color with your update on your Zortix, Zortix mm -hmm. Therapeutics Research Report. And I hope anyone out there wants to learn more, go to your website. Yeah. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, you can go to the website and you can download the report there. It's available for free.